Hello everyone, Assalamu alaikum. I'm Shazad Iqbal, and in this video, we are going to explore Odoo accounting application. So let's have a look. Let's open Odoo accounting application. If you are new to Odoo and you are just starting your database, Odoo guides you to do necessary configurations. Here we see configuration of accounting period. It takes you to the wizard where you can do your necessary configurations. Similarly, we have configuration for bank accounts, taxes and chart of accounts. So these are some of the basic configurations required to start. Of course, there are also so many other configurations we can see in this menu and uh, here we can see the any required settings for any features what are relevant to our business okay so next we see the dashboard let me hide this one this dashboard the first one we see is related to customer invoices and uh, if we go into detail there's option to view invoices credit notes payment matching and even you can create the new invoices right from this dashboard credit notes you may upload invoices and you may go to the reportings right from this dashboard, invoice analysis, agent receivables, follow-up reports. Similarly, here we see the dashboard of vendor bills. If you need to upload vendor bills or create manually, we can create. And uh, in details, we can see uh, to view the bills, refunds, payment matchings, and there's option to create new one as well and in reporting we can go to the bills analysis and edit payables here we can find some more dashboards including bank cash and in bank if we see here are options to manage all the banking operations and reconciliations Similarly, in cash, we can manage all the cash receipt and payments and related operations through this dashboard. There are some other dashboards as well. Next, we go to the menu items and forms. In customers, we go to the invoices. There's a list view of invoices. In invoice, we can see most of the required fields to input the data information to create an invoice and here we have different tabs this tab is for invoice lines and this tab shows us the related journal entries and some other information we can find in this tab and you can also send this invoice right from here through email to your customer there are some other useful tools on Odoo Forms to send messages. So anything, if we need to discuss with someone and send message in context of this form, say this invoice, we can send messages internally or externally. And uh, if need to log any note, we can log the notes under this form related to this invoice. and next tab we see the activities if anything next to do on this invoice to send an email call meeting so we can do the required action we plan the required action and on right side we see uh, to attach any related document with this invoice and we can also set the followers to get the notifications um, if any any action is performed on this invoice 
So these are a few interesting tools which we can find on every form in Urdu. On top of form, we can find here the buttons to perform the next actions as part of the workflows. Let's go back to the list of invoices. This is list view and another view we have that is Kanban view. In Urdu, when we go to the list of forms, we, we can have different views and we have option to filter the invoices and any forms in the in the view so these are the filter options and here we can see so many filters and if you want to group the given forms here we can find the options to group these invoices or any forms in the list and if we want to save any filters we can save in our favorite as a favorite searches and there are some more options we see here let's check what else is there in this menu next is credit notes it's it's a these are the similar kind of forms as we have seen the invoices then next is payments let's check the payments form when we create a payment we have these options if it's an internal transfer or it's a just send money or receive money we can select the payment methods so this is the payment form in Odoo next we can see the follow-up reports we can set up the automated follow-ups so based on the payment terms these follow-ups works accordingly next we can see the products let's go to the products this is the list view and if we see the kanban view uh, we can see the images in kanban view and inside the product form we find all the necessary fields to add the information in different tabs here we see and on top of it we can see these smart buttons and if we click on the smart buttons it takes us to the information what is displayed in these smart buttons so these smart buttons we find on most of the Udo forms especially on the master forms to have kind of visibility of all related transactions and information next in menu is the customers and uh, in customers again we can see the fields to input the required data and information here are different tabs again the smart button and in smart buttons for example related to this customer uh, right through the smart buttons we can reach to the related sales orders let's go to the next menu vendors we can see bills refunds payments these are similar kind of forms what we have seen in customers for invoicing and payments here we also have employee expense if any employee claims the expenses it reaches to the accounts department and this is the employee expense form next in the list we can add bank accounts products vendors just like what we have seen in the customer menu next is accounting menu and here we go to the general entries most of the general entries are created automatically when we create the forms like invoice vendor bills or payment forms let's open one general entry form so here we can see the double entry and other 
required fields are available on every Odoo form through this button we can display or hide any fields as per the requirements next we can see the general items then few more few more features what normally are the part of accounting application for instance we can see the budgets so this is the form to create the budgets we also have assets to manage the fixed assets and the related depreciation these are the forms to manage deferred revenue and deferred expenses and we can also manage the bank reconciliations next is the reporting menu and we can see most of the required financial and accounting reports for for example this is the balance sheet and we can see the balance sheet report these are dynamic reports we can drill down to the to the lowest level and there are so many filters and also option to add the comparisons in different way what we that we have over here and some other filters in addition to these accounting and financial reports we also have a dashboard and in this dashboard we can see the accounting reports there are different reports available and even we can configure our own new reports or we can modify these existing reports here we can see the configuration option next we go to the configuration and let me show you the chart of accounts this is a list of accounts and we can see the code account name type any new chart of accounts could be created or you may import your chart of accounts based on the code the accounts are grouped and there are multi multiple levels of the groupings so we can we can have the multiple level of chart of accounts as we require in fact there are so many things to discuss in configuration as you can see we can configure banks taxes payment terms journals asset models and so many other things and analytic accounts uh, analytic accounts are used to define our cost centers to uh, filter our information related to any cost centers just like departments or projects and uh, in settings we can see the different options and we can enable some more features so this was a quick demo of Urdu accounting application hope you find it interesting and thank you very much for watching this video and see you in my next videos